Come here. Come here. Come hang out with me. Come here. No. Hey, no biting. No biting. Hey, stop it. Mackie, no biting. Come up here. What's up you guys welcome back today's video is going to be the furry friends youtube tag and i got this little guy right here he doesn't want to sit up but i'm going to be talking all about him okay so first of all shout out to my friend julie um for finding this tag and sending it to me i'm really excited to do it and i think it'll be a lot of fun okay first question what is your pet's name his name is Mackie. he is named after the basketball arena at purdue where we went to college what kind of pet and what breed? So he is obviously a dog. He is a German Shepherd Husky mix, we think. He could have other stuff. We're probably gonna ask for a DNA test for Christmas. Where did you get him? So we adopted him from a shelter here in Los Angeles and we got extremely lucky. Somebody dropped him off outside of the shelter, just left him there and just so happened to be the exact week we were like contacting all of these shelters and they called us or they sent us a picture of him and said this is the only puppy we have right now and we said he's ours now he'll be interested in me because i'm holding a treat there he is good boy good boy huh good boy come here <laughs> moving on the next question is what are some quirky things about your pet's personality um he's a total ham he loves to cuddle he loves to like he loves belly rubs and he's so smart but also sometimes so dumb and he's just the funniest guy. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Um, absolutely everything. I knew as soon as I moved out of my parents house I wanted to get a puppy because I work from home and now during like COVID I work from home 100% of the time and so I hate being home alone and I wanted to have somebody there with me. So he's there with me all day. He hangs out with me. Um, so it's just nice having a little buddy while I'm working from home and I love him and take him everywhere. What are the nicknames that you call your pet? Oh, we have so many. So his name is Mackie. His main nickname is Bubba. And then some of the weirder nicknames we call him Bubba Lou, Macintosh. Lately, we've been calling him Macaroni and Cheese and Macadoodle. So yeah, but the main ones are Bubba and Bubs. Um, that's what we call him. Hey, Bubba. Number seven, how long have you had your pet? So we got him Memorial Day weekend, the set. Hey, don't eat your foot. We got him Memorial Day weekend. It was the Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. And so it's been, yeah, it's been just over three months since we got this little guy. Uh, number eight, does your pet know any tricks? Yes, he's actually really smart. So he knows sit, he's learning stay. He doesn't always like to do stay. <laughs> he, he knows no biting. He knows that one um he can do shake lay down and then we have him like jump up when we're standing up should we show them your tricks okay Mackie come here over here over here okay sit sit shake oh good boy good shake lay down good boy good lay down Mackie up oh good boy good up number nine what is your pet's favorite toy his favorite toy we call Dino. It's this red dinosaur. It squeaks. It's the Go Dog brand, so it's really good for um, like tough dogs. He only ever made holes in his dinos when he had his puppy teeth, but now that he doesn't have his puppy teeth anymore, they're not as sharp, and so. But he's still teething, clearly. But he loves that toy. But he also honestly loves every single one of his toys. Like, any toy we give him, he loves. We even, like, give him some of Chloe's toys that she doesn't use. And he will love every single one of them. Like, every toy he gets, he will play with. Even if we, like, take all the stuffing out because he's opened it up, he'll still play with it. Hi! Here, let's get you something to bite on. You want ducky? So, like, for example, this was a giant stuffed animal that I won at a fair like years ago and it was like this big stuffed thing and then he finally like got it open and so clearly he will get all the uh, fluff out so we took all the fluff out and he still loves it like he just will chew on it. Has your pet 
destroyed anything. Only toys. Other than that, he hasn't ever, like, destroyed something that he wasn't supposed to have. How would your pet react to an intruder in your house? Honestly, I think he would just, like greet them and be excited that there was another human because he's like such a lovable little guy and loves all people so anytime we've had like people come into our house he just is excited to see them so I don't think he would be very mean to an intruder at least not yet what is your pet's favorite treat um he loves peanut butter but what dog doesn't and then he also really likes watermelon he'll like eat it off of the watermelon rind whatever he'll eat like watermelon he loves watermelon can your pet swim Yes, he can swim. No, he does not enjoy swimming. Although last weekend we had a major heat wave and we brought him in the pool and I think he put two and two together like, oh, it's actually really nice sitting in this like cool pool. So he uh, was more willing to like go into it and now he's kind of been exploring it. So we're hoping he'll get to the point where he likes to swim. Do you create your pet? So at first we did because it was his safe space and that's where he would sleep. Now he just sleeps in our room and then we create him just for some downtime during the day. We often don't do it but when we leave the house we do because he will completely destroy things and he can open doors. So what is one negative thing about your pet? Literally nothing. I mean, like, I know I'm, like, biased because he's my pet, but he's the best little guy ever. The only negative thing is that he bites, but he's just teething, so. Okay. Uh, does your pet sleep in bed with you? He actually doesn't. Sometimes, like, he can jump up onto the bed, and sometimes he'll hang out on top of the bed, like, before we go to bed. And then as soon as we turn the light off and are ready for bed, he goes, jumps off the bed. He, like, doesn't like it. Who does your pet love the most? Obviously me. No, I'm like with him all day, right? Because I work from home. Hey, no biting mama. No, you bite the toy. There you go. Good boy. Um, so he obviously loves me, but he's used to me being around. So he gets really excited when Rob comes home. He also loves my parents and Rob's parents. I mean, he really loves everyone. Does your pet have a four-legged BFF? Not yet, but we're hoping he'll make some friends as we continue to like go to the dog beach. And once he can go to like dog parks. Do you dress up your pet? We have never done it, but I have gotten him a Halloween costume to wear, so stay tuned for that. Um, if you could get another pet, what would it be and why? I would obviously get another dog because I love dogs and I want him to have a doggy friend, um, but I don't think we would just because like we're give at least not right now because we're giving him all the love and like he's a lot of work as it is, so we don't need another one. But hopefully one day he'll have a little doggy brother or sister. Stop biting me! I know your teeth hurt, but you gotta not bite mama. I know, okay, let's go get you a bone. Also, he is currently like 45 pounds and such a freaking ham, like I'll st I can still hold him like a baby and carry him up the stairs. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was the furry friend YouTube tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I need to go get this little guy a bone because he is gnawing away. He just woke up from a nap, so he's like, his teeth really hurt. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. We'd love for you to join our YouTube family. And that's all I got, guys. We'll see you in the next one.